Hi guys, it's Cheryl Sorrell, your occupational therapist. Thought I'd give you guys an activity you could do at home, hopefully with um, ingredients that you have in your uh, pantry. So um, I've attached a visual so your kiddos can follow along. Feel free to print it off or just have it um, up on your computer or something so they could follow along. So the ingredients you're gonna need, you're gonna need some flour, some salt. Um, this has got the picture of Kool-Aid. You can use anything. If you don't have Kool-Aid, you can just use different um, extracts or things to add a scent. Um, you'll need some oil and some hot water. So step number one, we need one cup of flour. So you can have your kiddos help hold the container, use your other hand, scoop out the flour, and put it in the bowl. Flour's in the bowl. Um, step two, we need one fourth cup of salt. I already measured it out here, but you're gonna use your salt. You're gonna pour it in. So here you can use both hands again together. Put your salt in the bowl. And then step number three, we're gonna add Kool-Aid. I didn't have any Kool-Aid, um, but I had just some fl lemon flavored um, drink packets. So I'm gonna add a few of those. And since they're so little, I'm gonna add three of them. Again, if you don't have Kool-Aid or lemonade packets, you can use different um, flavors of extract. I'll put this last one in here. <laughs> and don't breathe it in. Goodness. Um, so other things, I had some lemon extract. I had peppermint, almond. <laughs> yeah, don't breathe this stuff in. Woo! That'll add your scent. Okay, then you also need one. Step number four, you need one tablespoon of oil. So here, again, use two hands together, measure out your oil, put it in. Then step number five, you need one half cup of hot water. I put it in my microwave over here. I already got it nice and warm for us. Um, and I'm gonna pour that in. Then I'm going to stir. So here again, use two hands together and hold the bowl with one hand and stir with the other. Stir it up here. Yep, it does smell like lemonade a little bit. Again, if you can also add food coloring if you want to have colored Play-Doh. Once you get it mixed up, you can put it on the counter and use both hands together to mix it up. Here again, use those hands, push it and roll it and it'll get mixed up. Sometimes you have to add a little extra flour. We'll put a little more flour in there so it's not too sticky. But there you have some lemonade Play-Doh. Mm, it does have a lemony smell to it. You can do all kinds of things with that Play-Doh. You can just play with it. You can use a knife. Um, you can use scissors. You can just do anything like that with that Play-Doh. So just a simple recipe that you guys can do at home. Follow the um, recipe and have fun. I miss all you guys too. See you soon.